As you just heard Dan say, to help bolster support, they were at the southern border. Some 1,500 troops are being sent ahead of that expected surge. Active duty military will support the Department of Homeland Security for 90 days. They will not be carrying out law enforcement work. They're going to be serving in what is being called an administrative role. They're going to be joining the 2,500 National Guard troops already activated. The move is said to free up resources so that CBP can operate more freely in the field. For 90 days, these 1,500 military personnel who will be sourced from the active duty component will fill critical capability gaps such as ground-based detection and monitoring, data entry, and warehouse support until CPB can address these needs through contracted support. As of Tuesday, some 22,000 migrants were in CBP custody. Well, as we've been reporting, Title 42 will be lifted on May 11th. And to discuss more about all of these stories and what's going to happen on the border is immigration attorney Esther Valdez Clayton. Uh, Esther, thank you so much for joining us. So much to talk about. Let's get right to it. Um, Dan said that once Title 42 was lifted the social, uh, on the social media accounts of the cartels, our border is, quote, wide open. Do you agree? A yes and no. Officially, it's not open. Unofficially, it is. What a lot of migrants and asylum seekers understand is that the Biden policies, again, policies are different than the law. The law has never changed in over 30 years, meaning that if you enter unlawfully, you're supposed to be detained, removed, and or criminally charged for entering unlawfully into the United States. That part hasn't changed, and that's what Americans need to understand. The laws haven't changed. The huge driver of why we're seeing hundreds of thousands of migrants coming in is that the administration changed. We went from Trump, who also militarized the border, and we have 1,500 active duty troops being sent down now by a Democrat president. What is changing is the policy, the implementation of the law. And as uh, Rodney Scott just stated, under the Biden administration, the whole philosophical approach is not to deter, not to stop, not to dissuade, not to tell people do not enter the nation unlawfully. It's merely to manage, to be logistical, to be procedural in terms of how we handle the flow. For example, under the Biden administration, they introduced the CBP-1 app, meaning you every unlawful entrant into the United States should have gotten an app on their cell phone, been technologically savvy, entered, scheduled an appointment to enter and present their case to Border Patrol. Nobody's doing that, right. and we know that. Why do we know that? Because we can see it. Mm. Factually, we see most people are saying, forget this, I'm going to walk over, hand myself into Border Patrol, and there's a countdown. The cartels have the countdown, the migrants have the countdown, and a number of nonprofits also know that the minute that Title 42 expires on May 10th at midnight, that's when they're going to turn themselves in to Border Patrol agents and say, I want asylum. At that moment, Title VIII kicks in, and that's the big loophole of Title VIII. Whereas Title VIII mandates that you have to be detained, you will be detained, but under asylum law, that's a loophole. If you claim persecution on account of politics, your national origin, your religion, or any kind of political opinion or a social group, then you are able to get a credible fear interview, which the Biden administration now wants to happen right at the border. Uh, the, some of the protocols also enlist that there be an attorney there to be able to tell people how to ask for asylum. And then the main goal is to be released into the United States while your case is pending in immigration court from five to 10 years. That's the gain, that's the win, that's the game. Will the 1,500 troops the Biden administration sending, will it do anything? Again, it's management, it's procedural, it's to help be able to survey a lot of the cameras and the electronic equipment that we have, the sensors all along our border, in order to allow the Border Patrol agents to be able to fend off, to be able to detain and deter and stop what is basically going to be an unstoppable flow of migrants. We're looking at 10,000 to 14,000, according to some estimates, of unlawful entrance into the United States. Well, we can't and even that's handle. Daily? Is that daily? That's daily once Title 42 is lifted. Already the latest numbers show over 50,000 entrants in the last um, seven days. So we're also seeing it here in San Diego with the various nationalities that are coming in. But what we're not seeing are those who are still waiting in Tijuana. The numbers range from 30 to 70,000 people who are waiting for Title 42 to be rescinded. So the laws need to change. 
Well, this falls squarely back on Congress, and that's where I agree with the Biden administration. If Congress wants to act, they should have passed this a long time ago, not waited two years into the largest border crisis this nation has ever seen. And if you think that this is over dramatic, you have to think of this in terms of national security, in terms of fentanyl, in terms of drugs, in terms of the crime that is happening. Just the last week alone, the Border Patrol stated that they captured more than five sexual offenders, meaning men who had caused sexual harm to minors under the age of 13. That's what's happening at the border. But not only that, but here in San Diego, we also have to prepare. And I always tell people, you can be both humanitarian and legal about this. Our hearts go out to anybody suffering around the world. But our hearts also go out to the amount of resources that we can expend in housing and educating and providing medical care and the resources necessary to people who mostly have no resources of their own. All right, Esther, Esther Valdez-Clayton, I appreciate you always coming on. We all appreciate it. Thank you so much for your insight. Thank you, Riker.